asthmatic. All I know is mathematics on the stove, cooking chicken, right? Me is it gymnastic, acrobatic with the work. Like who did it? Do the magic? Me go bring me kilos, so I bust them squares up out the plastic. Get in traffic, also traffic. Known to make that shit happen. Gotta use the razor, cut the chickens in some turkey wrapping. After 15 years of trapping, now your juice don't start it rapping. Blowing 93 OG from Freddy, daddy suck from Cali, making daily sweat. Cut my pockets on the Caesar salad. Catch your girl, then I splash a fuck up like a jack. Why are you taking the shit again? Because it's healthy, bro. Come on. What are you looking for? My lighter, man. I think I left it in the car. Where's Boo Boo? I don't know, dude. Below us, above us, who knows? Not my turn to watch him. There. Where are you going? I forgot my wallet in the car. Need me to grab anything? Yeah, can you get my lighter? Cool. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. He is weird. So what do you think, man? What do you think about this, uh, this agent friend of yours? I mean, everyone's talking about him, dude. He sounds like the real deal. But, but you got nothing to worry about, man. You're a triple threat over here, you know? You got freaking uh, comedian, music artist, director. You're DGing it up, bro. DG? What do you mean? Yeah, dude, DG. Do Donald Glover? Bro, dude, FX just picked up a series, got all those Netflix comedy specials, major motion pictures. Dude, knock, knock, who's there? Ridley Scott. I do like Lethal Weapon. Move, bitches. Keep up. I found my wallet. It was in my sock. You know, they've been going to address how weird it is that you keep your wallet in your damn sock. It was in my pocket. Let's go. Wait, wait, are we just gonna, we're just gonna breeze past the fact that he found his wallet in the sock, which was also in the car? Just leave it, you know, it's, it's boo boo. You know, you never know. I have one word for you, sweetheart. Adult film industry. I'm telling you, you could be huge. Tell you what, with your body and my brains, we'll go far. I tell you what, give me a call, you got my number. Hey, look at the face on this kid. Is this an actor or what? How you doing? Buster Michaels, my friends call me Busty. Here's my card. Look, uh, if you're interested in taking any acting classes, kid, uh, I'm a SAG union uh, actor here in town. I have a lot of class options for people like you. I got over 300 acting credits. I used to be big in Hollywood. I was the blue bowl guy, you know, the, the sailboat and the toilet water with the blue. Anyway, look, if you want some legitimate uh, opportunities here in Las Vegas, go through me. I'll hook you right up. Take my acting classes. It'll be wonderful. You, you, you get right in there. You got that Harrison Ford thing going. I'll take your classes, man. Oh, good. A great a group rate. That's fantastic. Cash up front. We meet every uh, other. Busty, third. we're uh, we're not here to take any acting classes, okay? Cam actually has a meeting to be a director. A director, really? Hey, that's fantastic. I'm also a casting director locally. I know all the union and, and SAG actors here in town. I can make sure that you get the best uh, of the best have, of the uh, best. Because you know, as well unless they the take film, my acting so class, it's, they, it's okay. they just don't. We're not, we're not going to need your services. You won't. Oh, I see. Uh, well, when you guys decide to uh, get serious and make a legitimate film, uh, give me a call. Le legitimate Excuse me. film. I got meetings. Do you see where we're at? It's... God, I hate that guy. Hello, boys. You can go in. He's ready for you. So, who are you? My name's Charlene. Nice to meet you, Cameron. Big fan. Ah, just Cam, but that's good. What are you a fan of? Your songs. They're real. Interesting. What's your uh, favorite line? Not that good, but I guess I could try. Oh, for me, I mean, come on. You said you're a fan, right? Okay. <clears throat> you know you got a bad bitch when you're rolling down the block because she comes back with the bills and starts sucking your cock. You know, that uh, just happens to be one of my favorite lines as well. So, when we get out of this little meeting, you want to get out of here and get a coffee or something? Yeah. Here's my number. Cameron Coolidge, how the hell are you? <laughs> Come on, man, nobody actually calls me that. Sorry, cameraman, I'm sorry. Bring it in. Get the hell off of your breath smells like an odd house. Uh, you guys want some water? No, I think we're good, man. I uh, think we just want to get on with the meeting. Great, lightning in the bottle, straight to business. I like it straight this way, not you poo poo. Hey, Cam, what the heck? Talent managers only, sorry. It's the policy. Dude, just chill, boo. It's not gonna take that long. All right. I'll go sit down because I want to. Not because y'all telling me to. And I will take that LaCroix. Great, uh, Charlene. Get him a LaCroix. <laughs> you know, I'm also an artist too. 
You know, I was thinking about writing a song about how beautiful. Stop. Back up. Your breath smells like a hobo's dick cheese. Maybe worse. Sit down. I'll try and find you some of your poison water. The crow is delicious. Monster! Okay, this one, Vortex. It's a mixture of Goodfellas meets Interstellar. A general hell bent on getting rid of the mob in space. $20 million budget. I don't know if we can shoot that with 20 million. Not good enough. All right, this is Corroded Mindset. It's a mixture of Back to the Future and Fight Club. A teenager goes back in time to create a boxing club in the Bronx that ends up saving this kid's life in the future? Sounds like a pretty good script to me, man. It's shit. Aaron Sorkin penned this with the thought of directing it himself. That's before his dog got sick. Poor Foo Foo. Well, good for you, fool. Who are you calling a fool? Kim, come on. The term of endearment. I'm not a fan of it, in. Look, it's an adaptation of Eli Wiesel's Night. I read that book in high school, man. It's, it's a heavy novel. I read that too. The contrast between the 1930s Nazi Germany is pertinent to the military industrial complex that we pretty much have to deal with today. Exactly, see? See, that is why you are the perfect person to direct this picture. Well, uh, look, you gotta talk to my manager. It's not all up to me. Seriously. This guy? Yep. This guy. All right, fine, Mr. Manager. What do you think? I think it sounds like a pretty good script. I mean, it's got potential for sure, and... See, so your little friend agrees. Now let's make a film. I wasn't finished yet. Cam gets the final cut of the film. Never gonna happen. Well, if you wanna work with Cam, you better make it happen, you greasy sleazeball. Okay, greasy? Look, I don't know what his problem is, Cam. You better get him out of here before my kick his ass. Okay, calm down, Eric. Just listen to him, okay? Fine. All right, so as I was saying, Cam gets final cut of the film. He also gets 19% of all back-end deals. I'm talking commercial, merchandising, uh, any of the exclusive rights, whole nine yards. He gets them. It's a Nazi period piece. Look, look, they don't make action figures or put you on the Wheaties box for these kind of shows. It just doesn't happen. Yeah, but they also haven't had a film directed by Cameron yet. Well, Cam, no one calls me that. Yeah, what if the Academy calls you that? Okay, well, maybe them and my baby's mama, and that's gotta be it. Like, I can't think of anybody else. He gets casting rights, too. Okay. Now, I'm gonna need time to think about this one, and how I'm gonna spin that to the studio execs. Perfect, let me know what they say. And, Eric, take the scripts out of the trash. Those are people's creations. Is this what you do to the scripts that I send you? Not at all, look, it's just for theatrics, Cam. Just at least recycle. Man, can you believe they want you to direct a movie like Night? You're so lucky, man. It's gonna be a lot of work. It seems legit, but just depends on that raving fool up there can get us there. Us? Well, yeah, us. Yeah, man, you know Cam wouldn't leave us behind. Oh well, yeah. Thanks, Cam. Don't sweat it. It's like I owe you my life. Mmm, like a slave? No, more like how Chewie's invested in Han because he saved him that one time in the mining planet where they were held captive, but then Han says, let's get into a fight with the store troopers and kill them, and they do, and they break out of the ceiling of the prison, and then Woody Helson saves the day? Wait, 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 so, so which one's Han, which one's Chewie? Well, obviously, I'm Chewie, and he's Han. That makes me a Luke, right? Uh, not a Luke kind of guy. More like Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> Jar Jar Binks. Dude, have you even seen the prequels Jar Jar? Uh, now you're giving off a Palpatine vibe. Shit. Pizza gotta go. Leaves with no explanation. Super Palpatine. Not Palpatine! He was supposed to go to Little Man's game today. I wonder if Jar Jar and Palpatine are working together. Are you okay? I don't know, man. My world totally changed. Jar Jar was a hero in the prequels. 
It's all right. That's what they want you to think. Okay, are you sure you're okay? I don't know. I feel the earth moving underneath my feet. I don't think life's ever going to be the same. All right, well, I'm going to smoke this real quick, just deal with your extremely weird self. I think I was supposed to be here to spark this. Hey, guys. Hey, Dad. Hey, buddy. I'm sorry I'm late. Cam, he, uh, he had this big meeting, and he's going to be a big star. But so are you. How'd you do today? Lots of strikeouts? If you were here, you would have found out. Hey, come on, that's not fair. I I'm gonna be at the next one, I promise. You said that the last time. This time I mean it. Why are you always lying? Hey, Nick, come on, I- Will you calm get, down? Buddy. Get him out of here, please. <sighs> it's gonna be all right. <sighs> sorry I'm late. Yeah, you're sorry, all right. Sorry you couldn't even give him some affection, not a hug, or I love you. He was pissed, you saw him. Yeah, for good reason. You just broke your promise again, saying you were gonna be here. Come on, Cam had a meeting, okay? And, and he's gonna blow up, and, and, and... If he blows up. No, when he blows up. I just, I, I had to do that, okay? I, I had to. You really don't think he's gonna blow up? I just don't know why you're counting on someone else's success. We both know that scumming off your cousin's only gonna work for so long. Well, you're in a mood today, aren't you? Yeah. Huh. Same mood I've been in for a year since you cheated on me and started doing drugs. Hey, remember? come on. No, that's not fair. I. Cam is gonna blow up. And when he does, I. I'm gonna have money and I'm gonna have time and I'm gonna be able to take care of all of you. God's honest truth. Don't bring God into this, because God's on my side when it comes to this. All right? The fact that he brought up the strikeouts. How'd he do? He started, got hit on every time, and at the top of the second inning, the coach benched him. Well, he's got to work on that. I mean, it... <gasps> You think? Huh. Well, maybe if you took some time to help him, you jackass, he'd be better. Well, she still got it. Yeah, I never lost it. Hey, Dad. Hey, sweetie. Look at you looking all grown up. <sighs> Dad, I love you. But you gotta get it together. Really hurting Nick's feelings when you say you're gonna do stuff and you don't do it. Wow, I um, I didn't know I was hurting your guys' feelings. I, I apologize. I would say it hurts my feelings, but I gave up on you a while ago. Wow, um, well tell me how you really feel, why don't you? I love you, Dad. Love you too. You can't just sit there and look at me like this. Well, isn't that what you want? Me out on my ass while you're here on your high horse? You should have listened to me, damn it. You keep saying that, but I don't give a shit. The only recognition of you being an officer is that gun and that badge. Are you saying I'm a bad cop? No, I'm not saying that. Especially seven months that we spent together on Jamie's case, Ron. Together. What? Uh, I'm not saying that. Man. Then what are you saying? Say it! I need your gun and your badge. There, I said it. I didn't think you could be so cliche. I'm sorry, Mick. Yeah, I can tell. You care. About as much as you cared about being a father. You're the worst father ever! Um, okay. Uh, good read through. Yeah, it felt great. I did it, dude. Didn't feel great to you? Uh, did I step on your line or something? Really? Look, Mark, buddy, uh, you do have to admit that you improv a couple of those lines, no? Oh, the whole dad thing? Well, yeah, there was a dad thing, and... Well, yeah, it makes sense to me that we're three episodes in, Cam. We gotta shit or get off the pot. Like, people need to start seeing, like, things unfold. So I'm gonna develop some sort of depth and layer for his character since he's not gonna do it himself. We gotta get the, the conflict and resolution. We have to develop the layers and the depth for, for the audience. Like, they're the ones that pay the bills, right? I, I understand, but the Jamie thing is a little 
left field, don't you think? Right? I mean, it makes perfect sense. If you're going to have conflict and resolution, you build up this, this sense of bond that we had. It makes this decision so much more difficult for him to have to tell me that he's firing me. Uh, I hear what you're saying. I'm digging it. I am. Let me talk to the writers tonight and see what they say about possibly getting that into the story, making it work for you both, okay? Oh, no. This is bullshit. I, I, okay, look, John, I'm just trying to see it from both sides, okay? Look, let's table this for now until next week's screen test. Mark, buddy, please do me a huge favor and just stay on book until the lines are changed, okay? Or at least until we get an approval. Cam, you're the director. Like, you call the shots. Like, seriously? Look, I, keep it as a plan B. Don't get me wrong, you know, keep it in your back pocket. John, for now, just keep being amazing, okay? Sure. This is bullshit! New sound, Grand Jordan. Adam's Jordan. Hi, fellas. Later. Ass hat. Have a good night, buddy. Thanks. See you later, Cam. Call me when you want to work with a real actor. Fucking asshole. Why don't you see that guy? What? I mean, he's young, he's willing, he's got a following. He's not a bad guy. Yeah, but don't you see how he interjects on the context of the script? Try to make his own? I, look, I understand. Okay, I do. I just kind of like to let the actor really hone in on the character and really take charge of that role. You know what I mean? I let you do the same thing, John, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I okay. get that. He's still an asshat. <laughs> All right, John. Have a good night. We'll see you. Stay golden, pony boy. <laughs> Coppola. Love it. What's up, Ken? What's up, boo? Hungry? Yeah, man, what you got? Brown sugar and cinnamon pop tarts. What the? F what the fuck, motherfucker? I told you no pop tarts. I I'm sorry, Cam. I'm sorry. You I'm sorry. Get up and stop Get sniffling. Down. Toaster strudels, bitch. God. Oh, and now you show up. Yep. You know there's a pop tart on the ground, right? That's boo boo. Yeah, man, I feel like shit. This is another one of Nick's Little League games. Wow, you really are a piece of shit. Thanks for the pep talk. <laughs> okay, so you missed one game because you had to work. How many other games have you been to? Two. Oh, okay, it's not bad. Yeah, two games in three years. Yeah, that's bad. Here you go. Master, I mean, Cam the man with the plan plan. Why, thank you, Boo. What's up, Boo Boo? What's up, Nate? Anything else? Um, you can clean up the dog shit in the backyard. Yes, sir. Pick up the dog shit. Pick up your dog shit. Yo, Cam, what did you do to him? Is he like broken? Oh, he's just trying to earn some extra money for Disneyland. Disneyland. Boo Boo. Mm hmm. <laughs> okay. So, what do you think, man? What, should I do this movie or what? What do you think? Dude, I do not want to know what I think. What do you think? Well, I think you should do it. I mean, it's got a good probability of having a follow-up picture, and I mean, it can take you places. I guess we're doing this then, huh? Guess we're doing this. All right. Yo, be prepared to sacrifice a couple of those games for the next year or two. Yeah, I'm already a shitty dad, so. It's a terrible way of looking at it. Yeah, but it's true. All right, I'm gonna go pick up some of these blunts. I'll be right back. Oh, oh man. Man, where are the keys at? Boo Boo, where are the keys at? The what? The keys at, Boo Boo. Where are the fucking keys at? Oh, hell, I don't know. God damn it. Y'all look funny. Let's do this.